Nine times out of ten, I throw this plug in on a bass or an 808, and that motherfucker just shoots through the roof. Mixed by Ali's a legendary mix engineer who's worked with artists like Kendrick Lamar, DaBaby, and Gunna. In this video, I'm going over Ali's go-to techniques for mixing bass, kicks, and 808s, as well as the parallel processing chains he uses. Let's take a look at Mixed by Ali's overall low-end philosophy. As he explains in this next clip, Mixed by Ali likes to solo low-end elements and work on them individually, then compare them to other elements in the mix. You know when you're getting the right level and knock out of your low end. Again, it's just feeling, you know? But with me also, it's a constant blend. Again, I'll go with the 808 and vocals. I'll make sure the blend, I'll make sure the vocals sit well on top of the 808 with that blend together. And then I'll have the 808 and kick and percussion and make sure all those things blend. I wanna make sure everything sits in its, in its respective pocket. He said, do you ever side chain the 808 and kick? The side chain, what it does, it literally just pulls the punch out of whatever bass or 808 that you're trying to side chain with that kick. You know, you're trying to get more punch, not, not less punch. You know, so instead of side chaining, I literally surgically EQ, you know, find the clashing frequencies from the two different sounds, and I would duck one and boost the other. First, let's take a look at some of the tools mixed by Ali uses to get his low end sound. The most notable of which is the UAD Voice of God. Use UAD's Little Lab Voice of God on bass. This plugin is a Chico, point blank period. Nine times out of 10, I throw this plugin on a bass or an 808, and I'm a just shoots through the roof. Nine times out of 10, I'm gonna go back to the factory default and just let that live. Now, if you can listen, just having that factory default on the plugin, you can listen to the before and after and how much better it sits inside that mix, how much of that low end you can feel and really hear. This is without it. The next tool Ali uses is the Massey Tape Head plugin. This is a saturation plugin that Ali likes to put on his kicks. He'll usually just stick with the default preset. Next we have Waves R-Box. Ali uses this for its gate feature, and he also does some light compression with it. If there's a kick with a tail that's too long, the gate will cut off the tail of the kick and allow it to interfere with the 808s or bass less. Ali also uses the Moog multi-mode filter. Here is the description from Ali's Instagram page as to why he likes using this plugin on the low end. Here's an example of Ali using it in parallel on a bass. Next, we're going to take a full look at how Ali builds his low end for each record. A crucial aspect of Ali's low end technique is using parallel chains. Ali will use parallel chains on bass, kicks, and even kicks and bass at the same time. Take a look at how he constructs the low end on Surgery by YG. As mentioned at the beginning of the video, Ali is working on the bass soloed. Now watch as he copies the voice of God to a parallel track in order to possibly make the results more subtle. Now 
After listening to the loan in context, Ali decides to go with another set of parallel processing plugins instead of the voice of God. He then decides to replace the move with the decapitator, which gives it even more grit and distortion. He switches the plug in order so that LA2 isn't clamping down on the 808 as hard. Ali also sends the kick to this parallel chain. Watch Mix by Ali use the multi move on a parallel chain in order to enhance the low end in this electric bass guitar. He then adds the LA2 for some more vibe and some slight compression on the low end. Eventually Ali ditches the LA2 and goes back to his trusty voice of God. Now watch as Ali constructs a parallel kick and bass chain using the multi moog filter and the UAD voice of God in tandem. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. I am a Waves affiliate, so there will be a link in the description below to any of the Waves products used in this video, and I will earn a small commission off those products. So if you want to support the channel, use that link, and I believe it gives you an extra 10% off as well.